And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. You see this is a promise of Jesus. So a lot of students have this, this, this clarity of, uh, that begins to develop of, of who they are and what they're called for. He wants us to follow in his footsteps, to do the things that he does. Seek and save the lost, bring healing into broken areas, essentially to undo the works of the enemy who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. A friend of mine invited me to go to an encounter school of healing. And coming from the extraordinary form, very traditional background, I was very hesitant, very skeptical. Through that weekend, the content was so rich. The theology, the history, the scripture, the tradition. And then it was backed up by power and miracles and things happening right in front of my face. I left there realizing this is legit. This is, this is what God has commanded us to do. I was really grateful that they were doing the online campus. But I just love everything that Encounters do. Showing us another level of who we are as Catholic Christians. I remember just begging God, I was like, Lord, if I need to move to Brighton, Michigan to attend the school that they're, they're talking about having, I will do it. And I was like, oh, wait, God, maybe not. <laughs> but then a few months later, they ended up sending an email. They were going to have an online school, and I just felt like this was an answer to my prayers. My name is Father Stephen Brady. I'm Donna. Father Craig Doty. My name is Joe Phillips. My name is Valentina, and I'm a student with the Encounter School of Ministry online campus. And this is a day in the life of an online student. It's been pretty easy, frankly, to get in, into my schedule. It's usually two videos that maybe last an hour each, so those two hours, and those are flexible. I've even listened to them as I'm driving. The content is released before the weekend, so you have all this time to watch the two hours of videos. There will be times where I'm like, I'm only able to watch the videos like right before a class, and then I'm like, oh shoot, I need to still do the homework, and then I'll reflect on the week, and I'm like, oh, I've already done it. It's actually been the most fun homework I've ever had. Whatever we are learning that week, it's basically asking us to put it into practice. I don't even have to try in terms of finding people who to pray with. God is like, literally bringing people to me. <laughs> it's given me a vision for what I want my parishioners to know, what, the, what I want them to be experiencing themselves, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. And the student very boldly had the sense that maybe the Lord put that that manifestation of heat on their hands because the Lord wanted to, to open heaven up to, to allow this person to know just as Jesus experienced an open heaven in his baptism, there's an open heaven above every baptized believer. They experienced in that moment 75% of healing. So they prayed again and immediately right there on the street, there was 100% healing of pain. Class time, the time of community with my, my small group, has probably been the best part. Like I feel like every week I'm in the upper room <laughs> and I almost feel guilty. I'm like, God, like, what, well, A, I'm like, what are you gonna do next? <laughs> and B, like, I get to experience this? Like, thank you. <laughs> I love my small group. One of my favorite things about the online campus is how many international students there are. Ever since the pandemic, feeling trapped and isolated, here we are gathering every single week with people all across the world, building each other up in Christ, and then praying with one another and seeing these miracles happen through the internet, across the ocean. It's been beautiful to see all of the students from the very young ones to others that are my age, you know. Some of them kind of shared things like going through their entire week and uh, being in a desert, and coming back to a place uh, of fresh living water. Favorite parts was just that first quarter when we talked about identity and, and just like calling me back to that. It's, it's stuff I heard in seminary, but um, just the way it was taught, um, so good. Oh, my favorite quarter would have to be a quarter on inner healing. I have experienced so much inner healing that I'm like about ready to like run around the neighborhood and be like, God is good, God is real, like you don't have to carry that burden. <laughs> he is with you, he wants to heal all your, your memories, like, oh. <laughs> My favorite things is being able to collect testimonies. Testimonies are like fuel to the fire and uh, other people's testimonies become part of the fire in our own hearts, burning bright for the Lord. 
One of my favorite classes is when Patrick and Father Matthias came and highlighted people from our class. And so it was like I wasn't expecting it, but Father Matthias highlighted me. And that's been probably the most joyful thing of my whole class time. So the um, second time I prayed with somebody after we learned how to pray for a physical healing, it was on the telephone. So I didn't even physically see him. And it, he had really bad uh, gout. and. Uh, so we prayed together and um, he was just so happy, like the, the tone in his voice was beautiful. Um, he said he slept that night with no pain and he got up and was walking around and someone's like, you're not, you're not limping anymore. It was cool. Then I used that testimony to share with somebody else. That person built up their faith and they asked somebody else an encounter and this person was healed of his torn meniscus. And so there was like this ripple effect just in, you know, this one healing that God worked. And now this person is sharing with other people like, you got to go and pray for healing and didn't even know it was possible, which is where I was at a couple years ago too. So, I've been able to incorporate a lot of what we're learning about prayer and about inner healing because I'm seeing more with the women that I work with, like in terms of trying to understand what God's calling them to or even finding motivation to apply for a job. There's a lot of blockage, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of low self-confidence going to the root um, of what's blocking them and being able to pray with women. I've seen more breakthrough in the last like few months, especially as we've been learning more about inner healing than I have prior to. I'm already recommending the Encounter School to many people. I keep emailing friends. Make every effort you can to, to fit it into your schedule just so that you won't regret it. This is the new evangelization. It's just going back and evangelizing with uh, the power and doing the works that Christ has done in greater ones than this. The effect uh, on it, evangelization on a person's heart, uh, when there's something supernatural, it supersedes any like logical predisposition that they might have. This is how we should be living as Christians. And the more people know and experience the power of God, like our communities are going to change, our families are going to change, like our lives are going to change. Like if we really want to change the culture, like more people need to know and live this out. I left there thinking like the whole church needs to know about this. And I heard that the Encounter School of Ministry was launching a two year online campus. I thought this is it. This is how the world is going to learn how to live the gospel in truth and power. How the Spirit of God, the power of God is there for them to help them to be the missionary disciples that they're called to be. We know that we can expect persecutions and trials and crosses and you know this is, this is part of the Christian life, it's part of life. But I also believe that God wants Catholic Christianity to be a ton of fun.